Hello my dear student in this video you are going to learn how we can convert general tree into binary tree so before going towards conversion of general tree into the binary tree first of all we'll see what is general tree what is binary tree why we require to convert general tree into binary tree and then we'll see steps for converting general tree into the binary tree so let's start with the general tree a tree in which each node can have either zero or many children then that node we can say as a general tree okay so let's see one example suppose this is a tree okay a is the root node b and c children of the root node and again d is also children of a then again for b there are three different children that is e f g for d there are two different children z and y okay so you can see for this node three childs are there for this node again three childs are there for this node zero childs for this node two childs are there so all these nodes in the tree having zero or many number of children so this we can say as a general tree and if each and every node having at most two children in a tree that tree we can say as a binary tree the definition is written here a tree in which each node can have at most two nodes means nodes can have zero children nodes can have one children or two children at most two okay so let's see one example suppose here is the tree a is the root node b and c are children of the root node then again for b there is two children d and e for c only one children this is called as a binary tree because this node having two children for this node having two children this node having one children and this node having zero children this at most two children for each and every node okay when zero will can be there one can be there two can be there but more than two cannot be there in the binary tree so this is called as a binary tree so what is general tree zero or many number of uh, many number of children are there for each and every uh, node that we can say as a general tree and binary tree at most two children are there for each and every node in the tree that we can say as a binary tree so we can say this is the specialized case of a general tree okay so this is a general tree and binary tree now what is the need for converting general tree into the binary tree that we will see before that we need to understand how we can represent the binary tree so let's see this example and we'll see how we can represent this in computer memory so to store this tree in a computer memory we required linked list and we need to consider the node structure so to store this node three fields we need to consider first field contains the address of left child second field contains address of right sibling okay and this field middle field contains data okay so if you are considering this particular node data will be a okay and left child address suppose here is the left child b address of it is a 200 then we will store address of it at the left of this okay this will indicate left child address okay and this will indicate right sibling address so right sibling is c okay so we are considering here address 300 okay so here we are storing address 300 now consider b b is again having two children d and e okay so how we can store that d and e 
okay we need to consider again node structure so here is d here is e middle field is for data and this two fields are for left and right pointers okay which will store address of left child and right child so if you are considering d it don't have any left child and right child so we need to consider here as a null here is also null same for e it don't have left and right child so we'll consider it as a null Okay. If you are considering C, it don't have left child, so we'll consider here as a null. But it having right child. Okay, so we can represent that right child like this F. Suppose address of that right child is 400. We need to store that address here as a 400. Consider F. At F don't have any left child, right child, so we need to consider here as a null. So in this way, we can represent the binary tree. So if you need to store this binary tree in the computer memory, we can use this type of structure. Okay. So here we are storing reference of two children of it, left and right children. But if we are using general tree, we required more references. For particular node, because you can see example, if B you need to represent, okay, B we, uh, we required more one reference to store this because three nodes are there, so we need to include one more reference here. If ten nodes are there, we need to include ten references. So while implementation, it is very difficult for the general tree for representation, but it is very easy in the binary tree because each and every node having at most two children, we need to maintain at most two references for each and every node. That's why we require to convert general tree into the binary tree for easy implementation. Now see how we can convert general tree into the binary tree. So while converting general tree into the binary tree, we need to consider all nodes one by one in the tree. Okay. After considering first node, we need to check whether it is a root node or not. Okay. If it is a root node, that node we are considering as a root node in the binary tree. Okay, if it is not a root node, then we uh, this two rules we need to apply. Okay, first thing is we need to find out the leftmost node. Okay, of that particular current node in the general tree, and that we are considering as a that we are considering as a left child. Leftmost node in the general tree we are considering as a left child. So which will be the right child, right sibling in the general tree that we are considering as a right child. Okay. So let's see the example so that you can understand it in better way. taking some, this example this is general tree now we need to convert this general tree into binary tree so first of all we need to identify how many nodes are there okay and which nodes are there you can see at the first level a node second level b and c third level d e f d e f and g h okay now we need to consider each node one by one and we need to apply these rules okay so we will consider first of all a okay so find out a is a root node or not if it is a root node we need to consider that as a root node in the binary tree now a is a root node in the general tree so we'll consider same as a root node in the binary tree so a will be the root node in the binary tree so how we can find out which one is the left child and right child of a okay so here is written if you want to find out the left child of a we need to consider leftmost element and for that you need to consider general tree so what is the leftmost element of a it is b so we need to consider that as a left child in binary tree so how we can find out the right child we need to consider right sibling of a okay and that will be the right child in the binary tree 
So what is the right sibling of A? A don't have any right sibling. What do you mean by sibling? Sibling means nodes which having same parents. But A is a root node, so it don't have any right sibling. Okay. So it means this don't have any right child. Okay. Now A is over. Now we need to consider the next node that is B. Okay. So consider B and find out which one is the left child and right child. Left child is what? Leftmost element. Okay. So left child is the leftmost element of B in general tree. So leftmost element is D. So we can consider that as a left child in binary tree. How we can find out the right child? Right sibling we need to consider. So B ka right sibling ko sa hai? C. So that we can consider as a right child. Now B is over left child and right child apko pata jala. Now we need to consider the next node that is C. Okay. Now consider the C and find out the which one is the left child and right child. To find out left child and right child we need to see general tree. And we need to find out which one is the leftmost element of C. Okay. And that will be the left child of this binary tree. So C ka leftmost element is G. That will be the left uh, child of C. How we can find out the right child? We need to consider right sibling. But there, there, uh, there is no any right sibling for C. Means there is no any right child for C in binary tree. Okay. Now consider the next node that is D. Okay. D is here. We need, how we can find out the left and right child of D? We can find out left and right child of D by using leftmost element and right sibling so leftmost element of d is not there okay means it don't have any particular left child is it having right sibling yes so this will be the right child of d so we need to consider e as a right child of d okay now d is over we need to consider next element that is e how we can find out right child left child sorry left child we can find out by using leftmost element but e don't have any leftmost element how we can find out right child right sibling we need to consider but this having right sibling as a f so this will be the right child of e okay now consider the next element that is f f okay we need to find out the left child and right child left child leftmost element we will consider but it don't have any leftmost element okay so this don't have any right left child now for right uh, right child of f we need to consider right sibling but this don't have any right sibling this g is not a right sibling sibling means what the nodes which having same parent so this don't have any right sibling okay so means this don't have any left child and right child now consider the next one g consider g okay so how we can find out the left child and right child of g left child we can find out by using leftmost element but it don't have any leftmost element how we can find right out right child of this by using right sibling so right sibling of g is h okay so this is the right sibling of g and that we need to consider as a right child in binary tree now next element is h okay so h how we can find out the left child of h we need to consider leftmost child but leftmost child is not there how we can find out the right child we need to consider right sibling but right sibling is not there okay so we don't have any particular left child and right child so in this way we can convert general tree into binary tree okay so to find out left child and right child how we can find out left child if you want to find out we need to consider the leftmost element or we can say leftmost node of that particular node and if you want to find out the right child how we can find out by using right sibling by using right sibling we can find out the right child
means we need to consider all nodes one by one and how we can find out the left child by using left most element in the general tree we can find out the left child by using right sibling in the general tree we can find out the right child in this way we can convert the general tree into the binary tree if you like my video please like share and subscribe my video till then take care bye bye